are from, who won is the president, Larry Charles Sr. and Linda Corley. My name is Jason McCauley and you're watching Access TV. Dot .org. Hello everyone. Let's give praise to God. Hallelujah. Yes. As you know, I'm from our beautiful church. You know, I'm so proud of Phillips. And I just told them, we got the best people in the world. Just come with us and you'll feel like you're at home. And everybody's having a great time. Well, before I go into that, first of all, you want to know, what is that Kiwanis Club? Am I right? Well, the bottom line is, welcome that we are saving the children of the world. And that's very important to me. And is everybody? No, it's always been important to me. So I would like to introduce the rest of the people that, first of all, what is the Kiwanis? Um, Kiwanis International was founded in 1915, and it's still existing. And the Hartford chapter was founded in 1916. The 15 in the whole international of the world, not the United States, but of the world. So that means one child, one community. And when we work as one, we, we, we carry kids and the family through time. And that's why we have a great community. So right now, I would like to introduce a young man that came to our club and was part, just became a member and I was really impressed. He is the fire chief of Hartford, Connecticut. Yay. And this is not the first place he's been involved with the Kiwanis. So I wanted him to show some inspiration. Good morning. Good morning. And thank you for the wonderful greetings. I feel like I'm right at home. Uh, Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me Amen. praise God Amen. my name is Carlos Huertas and I'm proud to be the chief of the Hartford Fire Department but I'm also just as proud of being a member of Hartford Kiwanis Club it's an honor and a privilege to be your co-master of ceremonies for our event today. Today, we are celebrating our 100 year anniversary. We were founded in July 16, 1916. I say the following with earnest and without reservation. There are many community and civic organizations within the city, in the state, in the nation, and in the world that all contribute to the betterment of man. But what makes Kiwanis Club so special, so distinct among all the civic and community organization is this unnerving, unwavering, continuous, enthusiastic, passionate support and advocacy for children all over the world. This commitment to our youth resounds within me and confirms what I believe is one of the most important duties we can all embrace as Kiwanians. It's all about legacy. It's about providing an opportunity for children all over the world to be the best they can be. Allow me to define what best can be means. Being a compassionate, caring, respectful, seeking of knowledge with a deep respect and faith in God and believing and willing to give of yourself with your time, commitment to make the world a better place for all of us. I believe we all agree there is no better legacy than to providing the knowledge, skills, and ability to teach our children on how to become viable, capable, exceptional young men and women to continue the mission of supporting our youth here, our communities, and around the world. And that's what Kiwanis is all about. And I'm proud to be a member. Thank you. And also, we have a citation from uh, our councilwoman, Cynthia Jennings. Thank you so much. First of all, giving honor to God for allowing us to be in this place to this morning with so many beautiful people. 
and we talk about the joy that's in our heart. First, I want to say that, I'm going to put these down for a minute. Larry Charles and I have known each other for a long time, and we can thank Larry Charles for working very closely with me and sometimes in front of me to clean up that landfill that used to smell all the way down to this church. He's done so much in this city for our people to protect us from drug abuse in our communities, from some of the killings that we had. At one point, we had zero killings in North Hartford when Larry Charles was executive director of One Chain. So we have to say that some of the things that God worked through him in doing is, is nothing less than a miracle for all of us. And we owe him a, a deep debt of gratitude for what he's done. Amen. Now this morning, we actually are celebrating the first African-American president of the Kiwanis Club in 100 years. So our time has finally arrived in Hartford, okay? And we are very pleased and proud of Larry Charles, who is deserving and a wonderful leader for our people. Now, when I read these proclamations, the proclamation from the governor, one will go to um, Philip CME as a, a matter of record. Um, one will go to the Kiwanis, uh, Kiwanis Club Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel. Okay, two will go to, the, um, one will go to the Kiwanis Club of Hartford, and one will go to all 33 Kiwanis Clubs in Connecticut. All right, so I'm going to read, I won't read it 33 times. I will read it once. <laughs> And then I will present it officially to um, the president. I'll put it down there so we can pick it up later. Okay. This is from the state of Connecticut by His Excellency Daniel P. Malloy, Governor of the, of the state of Connecticut. An official statement. Whereas founded on January 21st to 1915, Kiwanis International is a global organization dedicated to serving the children of the world, now celebrating its 100th year, and whereas one year following the creation of Kiwanis International, the Kiwanis Club of Hartford, Connecticut was founded, marking the first of many clubs in the Northeast and the 13th club established worldwide. And whereas Kiwanis International sponsors nearly 150,000 service projects, has raised more than $100 million for charitable causes, and has devoted more than 18.5 million hours of service in more than 80 nations across the globe, and whereas over the years the Kiwanis Club of Hartford has made an incomparable impact on the local community through its support of Hartford Hospital, the Hartford Times Farm Camp, the Channel 3 Country Camp, Hartford County 4-H programs, Boy Scouts of America Troop No. 2, student loan and scholarship programs, and outreach to refugee families in the Hartford area, and whereas membership and participation in this worthy organization is a testament to the spirit of our state and an invaluable resource to our citizens. Now, therefore, I, Daniel P. Malloy, Governor of the State of Connecticut, do hereby proclaim December 13, 2015 to be Kiwanis International Day in the State of Connecticut. And we also have a proclamation from the Honorable Pedro Isagara, who's mayor of the city of Hartford, also proclaiming Kiwanis International Day in the city of Hartford. So thank you, God bless you, we love you. In the name of Jesus Christ.
sentence for you, uh, uh, children to men, men, 13 times. It hardly covers 13 years. The 13th cub in the whole world. Hardly covers 99 years. And then this year it got about 100 years in, uh, in the in insulation. And the past, the members in Hartford picked me to be the president. Well, one thing is, uh, I had a show. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know I had a show. But I, now I'm in, in public today. So now man got a comfort for the body want, for the soul want. You know what the, what the soul, body want, right? You know that, right? If the soul want three things: prayer, meditation, and song, 24 hours a day. The soul never sin. Then the third part of man, mind. God, you give a choice. Follow the body, or if you can follow the soul, it's God need your choice. So every man got a decision to what to do. Look at my body. Can't walk. Can't talk. Can't write. But my soul. We have an idea uh, 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 six years ago. The Kiwanis put the Boy Scouts together. We had a committee of about tw 12 men. We were training them. We got about uh, 12 kids to go on the Kiwanis, but we didn't finish the job. We didn't finish the job. So I'm so proud of being the president again so I got a chance to do, get it right. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Let's give them another hand. We got the Jennings. Amen. And for the great children of the world. Come on, let's give God some praise. Amen. We're grateful for your presence with us. 